Hello and welcome to the MBS show episode number 362. I am your host Norman Sanzo and by the sound of my voice you can clearly tell that I am not well. <laughs> oh, so true and why not yo. Um so let's move this along so I can rest my voice. Yes. Okay, um let's hop into the news. Oh. This is strange. I did the whole full webcam first instead of doing the whole Yeah, let's fix that for a bit. Yay, now let's go into the news. <laughs> so oh no, I derped. So bad. <laughs> so anyway, oh wow, I'm such a wreck. Anyway, um first news is awesome thank you note from GM Barrow for Friendship is Magic. So for you guys who got no idea who GM Barrow is, she is the author to most of the My Little Pony novels, uh, Friendship is Magic novels, and she is the one responsible for writing the um, no- novels, th- novels and whatnot. And um, on on here on Twitter, she mentioned that she r- written twenty one MLB novels, seven episodes, and over thirty five shorts. So that is pretty amazing. Um, she wanted to thank everyone like. This has been a life changer for her, um, and this week, or today's or this week's episode, um, what was it called? The point of no return will be her last work for the franchise. We got no idea if she's going to do more in the future or not, but I do hope that she does do more. So um, over here, she says, well. It's a wall of text. I'm not gonna read it long because you you guys can read it. But I'm just gonna pick some that I've noticed that's kind of cool. Like being a smart, sorry, being a small part of this show and this MLP world has meant more to me than you ever know. When I first started writing the MLP chapter books back in 2012. I had no idea that it would lead to so much for me. Back then, I was producing a stat. Uh, uh, I was a production assistant in uh, NYC, taking ghostwriting jobs whenever I had the opportunity, hoping to become a TV writer someday. Now I live in LA. And of course, I am still working hard to continue achieving that dream, as all writers must do. But I owe so much of my personal progress and growth as an artist to MLP. I am still learning and developing my voice, not like me. But the fact that anyone is listening at all is amazing. So, honestly. MLP has changed or has touched a lot of lives, from GM Barrow here to me, and not stealing the limelight for a bit. Um, let's see. Oh, is this? yes, this one. Um, I got to met her in the UK. Yes, um, it, this was 2014 when. Buckcon was around, and I had the chance to go there. It was really amazing. It was a lot of fun, and it was amazing. And I got the chance to meet her. And here we go. Uh, pictures blurry. And yes, this is me from. Wait, this is nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, five years ago. Yes, so different, so different. But I got to met. Sorry, I got to meet her, and she was an amazing gal, and. Getting to talk to her was awesome. I, I do wish that I had the chance to do a proper interview with her, but I had a line. I, I didn't really want to bog it up, and I usually send contacts and whatnot, and say um, uh, I'll give, I'll, I'll hand over email something like that. And you, you know, that's that's all in the past. But all in all, I had an amazing time. There, I bought her books, asked her to sign, 
and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun and for me personally thank you so much GM for being an awesome person just being there for well just doing the things that you love to do because we here love doing <laughs> sorry we here just love um reviewing your work reading your work and whatnot and i say this f um follows true I'm, I'm i'm lost for word but if you love what you're doing it reflects on your work and people will notice that and people will appreciate that too so yeah thank you for your hard work and we do hope to see you in the future in future endeavors um, be that in writing or in TVs like you wish yes and let's move on to the next news haha <laughs> uh, next news interesting article about the rise of DHX and animation in the general sorry uh, in general in Vancouver thanks to my little pony <coughs> sorry so this one um this one is really interesting um i'm just gonna summarize it a bit long story short because of ponies a lot of people got a lot of work in the animation industry in vancouver so a while back um according to the vancouver courier yes so anyway um a while back um the studio was kind of there not really no they, they were they were, tr they were there um it wasn't really that popular they only had roughly about 250 employees i'm not 100 percent if this includes the cleaning staff and guards probably not i'm not 100 percent sure but yes they had roughly about 250 this was in 2009 um so when Hasbro brought the Pony reboot project to them, um, they s said, "Yeah, we'll do it, and we'll see what we can do." Because when some sometimes when big companies like Hasbro or um, let's just say Hasbro for argument's sake uh, comes in and yeah, we want you to do animation for us, so yeah, we do. Uh, you see that a lot around the um, what you want to call this. You'll see that a lot in the animation industry. Like, I think, what, Simpsons used Koreans before? Or Chinese, Japanese? I, I I don't remember. But, yeah. Um, the animation thing, um, Hasbro wanted um, the HX. Probably it's um, faster. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. So, they work on it. And somehow, ponies became really popular. So, after producing... Like they say, 211, 22 minute episodes of MLP uh, episodes, uh, one holiday special, eight shorts, uh, eight short films, and um, the movie. They have grown to 690 artists and now have a 75 thousand square foot facility near Olympic Village. I got no idea where that is. And approximately twelve shows on the go at all time. So that says a lot. Like they have grown in length and without ponies they wouldn't be here or probably they wouldn't be here now, maybe later on in the future. But still because of ponies they, 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 they have gone wild. <laughs> so yeah, um, a, l uh, I, I think there's a theme here. Because of ponies, a lot of people are successful because of ponies. You, they, a lot of people get to discover themselves, and just looking at this and hearing about them makes it all cool to be a fan and just liking the ponies 
So anywho, uh, let's go to, well, the end. Like, that's the news for this week. And, oh wow, my voice is gone. <coughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, uh, like I was saying, um, let's go into my week, I guess. Um, but before that, I want to just say that Season 9 is the end for My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It's pretty sad that it's ending. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. And I feel that Pony is one of them. I do not f- agree with that statement, but still, it's one of those things where, yeah, I don't mind it ending because I do not want a zombie movie like The Simpsons or Family Guys. <laughs> but I I say this a lot. I do wish that we get to have a 10th season, even though it's 13 episodes, just to round up the number, <laughs> call it OCD and whatnot. But that's just me personally. But, you know, um, like I mentioned before, because of MLP, we get to see a lot of awesome people come in and a lot of awesome people do a lot of good stuff from the Bronies for Good people, from the um, reviewers and from the podcasters, myself included. And in all honesty, I'm not going to speak for them, but I'm just speaking for myself and my own experience. I love doing this. Doing this it means a lot of fun. Like Just doing this is fun. Getting to talk about the things I love, getting to interact with you guys who are listening to this and who are watching this on the YouTubes is so much fun. I, I do... I'm sorry, I, I remember just meeting a lot of awesome people like I mentioned before GM Barrow I got to meet at BuckCon um, um, who was the writer uh, Dave Polsky who wrote Twilight Time I got to meet him too Heather Brackel who is the cartoon sorry um, who is the colorist for the comics and got getting to talk to Larson and I mean my life has changed because of this show and interacting, uh, and I got to interact with a lot of people. Back then, I was in another fandom, and I, well, I, I got to talk to a lot of people, but it wasn't the same way as ponies. Like I, I, I didn't get that, or I, I didn't have that interaction, or I didn't have that. Um, how do I mean? What, what do I mean? Um, I, I didn't get that feedback or something like that like just I didn't get this now I I know that um, doing things for popularity and whatnot is not the right way to do it and I do wholly agree with that like if you're starting a project or anything do it just because you want to do it and do it because you love doing it I for me right now um, have done about what uh, 362 of this episode yeah 362 MBA show podcasts and most of the time the news show or the news podcasts don't hit around 100 views or even 50 but I still keep doing it because I know that some of you at home are listening to this and enjoying it even though if you don't comment and whatnot, and knowing that you enjoy listening to podcast enjoy listening to me flub my lines or get things wrong so you can school me later on is um what am I going with this yes um is knowledge that I know that I'm entertaining you guys and highly and I highly appreciate that and in all honesty this show itself I I got to meet a lot of awesome people Um, for one it's Silver Quill because he's he's just awesome even though he doesn't say so but the the guy is awesome Um, I got to meet with 
so I, I, I got to know Safi and I got to know Totera, Kelpin from EQD. Hello, Kyle, if you're listening to this, and so on. And in all honesty, I don't know how well known I am. People say that they know the show and whatnot, but I don't feel it. And I don't mind it really. I mean, it's one of those things where I just do this because I love doing it. And I just want you guys at home to know that. And this is being ranty and long. Oh my goodness. So anyway, my week, yes. So um, this week was really interesting. Um, on the Wednesday, on the 24th of uh, April, yes, um, I went and watched Avengers Endgame. Um, and it was a fun movie. Uh, I would say go watch it if you are interested and invested in the whole um, Marvel Universe movie thing because it's kind of the end before they start with the fourth phase starting with uh, Spider-Man Homecoming and whatnot but yeah I'm um, not going to talk about it here because um, no spoilers and whatnot um, that will be done if we do a special movie review of that one or at the end of the year we will see we'll see so um yeah that's that and that was a lot of fun also um i i finished dark souls 2 for the first time that was a lot of fun and yeah um it it was a roller coaster ride of emotions happy anger sadness disappointment rage yes a lot of rage and anger and disappointment in myself but yes it was a lot of fun. Um, Dark Souls 2 is a game that I would recommend people playing if they love those kind of challenging games where um, getting past something hard is something that you like and it motivates you. Oh boy. And also this week is the pre-release for uh, Magic the Gathering their latest blog called uh, War of the Sparks and wow um, s all of them packs like 36 packs full of planeswalker like you'll get a planeswalker in each pack that is something amazing um, if you don't play Magic the Gathering I would highly recommend doing it so now because you can play it for free on Magic Arena but for me personally um, I bought a booster box uh, it's worth, I, I think it's worth a hundred dollars for you guys who are in the United States. And um, I got myself one. And that's not with the Patreon money, that was with my hard earned uh, day job money. Yes. And bought myself a booster box. Um, I came out with $207 out of it. So, yay, much awesomeness. <laughs> And yeah, um, I, I won't be playing the booster box game because I know that nobody's really going to buy my cards because mostly I'm just going to keep some of them to play in my commander, which is a another format. But say, um, it's a lot of fun and I kind of enjoy it. Like, it's one of those things where, hey, I got a lot of cards. Now let's build a deck. And other than that, yeah, that's my week. Uh, we'll see how it goes next week hope it will be a lot of fun um other than that mm, nothing much yes so anywho let's wrap this up if you have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at dimensiongmail.com you can also reach us on the twitters the show's twitter account is at mbs show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo and also please subscribe to us on itunes youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also do review and uh, also do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Songs, and also to Terra review the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. Sometimes we like to do something else, and that is we like to review the. Um, uh, uh, the shows like America's Ladybugs, um, 
uh, last time we did an anime. Um, what was that called? Um, anime, anime, anime. Um, Little Witch Academia, and so on. And yeah, the, the we 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 do more than ponies because why? We just want to, <laughs> we just because we we like doing other things. It shows how versatile we are, you know. Uh, so uh, let's see, yeah. She was first to So yeah, do subscribe to that one there too on the Stitcher Radio and iTunes. If you like to su- <laughs> if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support you get a week's early access to the review discussion podcast, exclusives and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey. And must have liked. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm going to rest up my voice because I can feel it dying now. And I'll catch you next week. Probably hoping to be more healthy than this week. <laughs> anyway, see ya, guys.